Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine doctor and also Isha Hatta Yoga teacher. So today in this video we are going to talk about what is heat in liver and why sometimes we feel little bit mild pain in the liver. All the clinical tests are normal but just we are sitting and we feeling like pricking pain sometimes, not all the time, some time of the day either evening or in the morning. That is too not continuous but sometimes we feel and uh, the symptoms like uh, you are not hungry, you do not you don't have willingness to eat, though you have not eaten your lunch or you have not eaten your dinner but still you do not feel hungry. All these symptoms are related with Ayurveda heat of liver. Now this heat in liver concept is so common like people are so familiar with this oh my liver has heat, my liver has heat and for many people they do not understand what does he, this heat means and they start things uh, eating things which are cooling in temperature. Like if somebody says oh I have a lot of heat in temperature so what is the opposite of heat that means cold, cold means what ice cream anything uh, anything that contains ice cubes and all these things people start eating and even they are writing to me okay you know we our, we have a lot of heat in the liver so can we start eating this ice cream I am taking now ice cream twice and I felt little better. So I thought I should make a video about it it is not like uh, ice cream is bad no doubt ice cream is very tasty for the tongue and it does not give you food value impact. So you feel okay at least ice cream I am able to eat and uh, it is very cooling for my liver but actually when we say in Ayurveda there is a heat in liver that we are speaking in terms not of temperature but in terms of guna that means qualities. Many times this happen like I say this uh, medicine is hot in potency or this spice is hot in potency it is heating it enhances heat that does not mean enhance temperature but it enhances the impact of that thing on your body that is known as prabhav that is impact or post digestive effect or impact you can understand. So similarly in liver, liver plays very important role in our metabolism you all know in digestion of fats and everything so liver is very important and it secretes bile that we also all know. Now sometimes what happen and this bile got stored, stored in the gallbladder this also we know and whenever we eat something that contains excess fat or something which requires more heat to digest not in temperature basis but in fact basis. So it secretes bile uh, more and more in our intestines and this is how digestion happened. The yellow color of our stool that is also because of bile the pale yellow color of, ur of urine that is also because of bile. So this bile secretion is continuous in our body it is not like body knows body has its own intelligence body knows how much bile is needed in the body. So this is the thing but now when we say we have excess heat in the liver that means sometimes the bile secretions becomes more when it becomes very excess this bilirubin which liver secretes then the definitely the uh, impact will come like uh, bilirubin whenever it is enhanced it trigger jaundice and all but sometimes it happens like clinically everything is well but still you feel excess heat in the system and you do not feel like hungry so it is very common terminology that we use especially in India like there is a heat in the system. So when heat in the system that, that means that is not the time when you start eating ice creams. So because ice cream itself is hot in potency and if you eat ice cream during this time then it will enhance the heat in your system more and you will become more or less hungry like you do not want to eat then even for one day then not even for two three days. So how to subside the heat in the system to subside this heat add fruits in your diet which fruits sweet fruits in your diet and what is the time to eat the best uh, best time to eat the fruits that is uh, empty stomach. Whenever your stomach is empty that time you can have fruit. You should not consume fruit after cooked food, after consuming cooked food you should not consume food as a sweet dish because fruit digestion is very quick as compared to cooked food digestion or grain digestion. Fruits get digested at the time of two and a half hours in the body and food the grains that takes four hours 
uh, four and a half hours to go through your intestinal tract and all. So it's very important that if you are taking fruits, you eat fruits in the beginning and then cooked food. So this is the way whenever you have excess heat in the system, that means this is the time you add more fruits in your diet, more salads in your diet. These are cooling in potency. These natural things are cooling in potency and this will help to subside the heat in the system. In addition to that, there is Ayurveda herb that is called Trifala Churna, Trifala powder. So, Amlika officialis is one of its ingredients and uh, there are two other herbs that is very common, Trifala. It is a combination of three uh, fruits, three herbs and that is also very, very beneficial to make the heat in the system into balance and also make sure you don't excess use of these fruits or excess use of these light uh, salads so that you make the uh, heat of the system very very low then also will digestion will not happen if the heat in the system becomes very high then also digestion will not happen you will not feel hungry if the heat in the system also become very low then also you will not feel hungry so when if you are not feeling hungry there can be two reasons to it so you need to see like which reason is applicable on you if you are not able to figure out by yourself you always take Ayur, can take ayurveda consultation with some ayurveda doctor tell the some these symptoms because these criterias are not in western medicine western medicine there is only one criteria for liver that is lft liver functioning test and bilirubin and other kind of enzymes how they are working and all these things clinically everything should be good if clinically something is bad so definitely first you need to see what is the systemic disease that you have but if for some reason if clinical parameters are all good but still you are not feeling hungry then maybe it is because of uh, disturbed digestive fire so in this case either you uh, pay uh, more attention to your body and you figure out by yourself or you always be, uh, get in contact with some Ayurveda doctor so that you can talk and discuss with him or her and this way you will figure out how is the status of your liver but make sure go to a uh, like you know right source that is very important because if you go to the person who don't have right knowledge right source he can't help you another thing that is very beneficial to balance the heat in the system it's make the combination food combination of the food you make in such a way that if you are eating something very hot in potency also add something that is cooling in potency for example you are eating mango mangoes many times enhance heat in the system so to balance mango you eat uh, these jamun that is also uh, called as indian blueberries that is called jamun so that you if you combine at least indians all know if you eat mango and then just to subside its heat and excess sugar you take jamun so it will balance it so there are very healthy combinations in ayurveda that are being mentioned and, and if you're making use of it it will balance the heat in the system naturally because it will not aggravate your digestive fire too much it will also not deplete your digestive fire too much that's why here comes very very important what we eat how we eat what are the ingredients according to your body type not according to your body type all these things becomes very important so that's all for today's video i hope you will like it and if you're watching me for the first time there is a bell icon there's a subscription button please click the bell icon hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos also if you would like to support us there is a join button near subscription button you can click this join button and you can support us those of you who want ayurveda consultations please write to me on this given email id and i will let you know how we can schedule it so with this note i would like to say stay healthy stay blessed take care Bye.